Your facial attractiveness doesn't just depend on a single factor. There are many other things that can really level it up. In this video, we shall discuss different ways to improve your facial attractiveness. That way you can feel more confident, more secure, and happier. And you don't have to make big changes like getting plastic surgery to improve your appearance. There are small things you can do that will really help you. When you're taking pictures, there's that one side you put your face in because it is your most attractive side. Even in the past, everyone was obsessed with a great jawline. This just shows how your jaw is undoubtedly the most important feature for facial attractiveness. Every angle will be your best angle when you enhance your jaw. When you go to your TikTok page, almost every attractive person has a well-defined and well-structured jawline. The first thing you can do is to reduce your facial fat. It's not a stretch to say that facial fat can completely change how you look. Even moderate amounts of fat gain can completely change your face shape and attractiveness. When you eat less food, you lose that extra fat tissue. Loosing belly fat causes the abdominal muscles to start to pop out and you get abs. The same exact thing applies to the face. The difference is, it's mostly the bones like the jawline and the cheekbones that we quickly see popping. The second thing you can do is use a gua sha. If you wake up with a puffy face, you can use this tool. Also, it is great for lymphatic drainage. Lymphatic drainage massage is a form of gentle massage that encourages the drainage of lymph nodes and the movement of lymph fluids around the body. Do you guys remember the viral Kylie lip challenge? It was basically people using bottles or other contraptions to make their lips bigger. One thing that really stuck with me was the effects of the challenge. I realized that your lips can literally make or break your face. This is especially when they are overly thin or full. A lot of influencers overemphasize how much getting lip filler will give them a boost in their attractiveness. This may be true for people who get very minute milliliters, but lip fillers have been known to be addictive. That's why you see them getting more and more of it, which quite honestly works to their disadvantage and they end up looking worse. I just don't like the way they look. I feel like over the last few months I've really noticed how kind of like unnatural they look. You can really see how much filler is in my lips and like they just feel really hard and it's just time they went. It's time they went. They have got lumps in, they've got bumps in, they're uneven. I reckon in total I've probably got about five mil of filler in these all together. Lips that are overly full compared to the rest of your face can make you look unattractive. So what can you do if you want bigger lips but not get any lip injections? You can use lip plumpers. The only disadvantage to this is that it hurts and the effects only last for a few hours. Other people recommend overlining your lips for a fuller look. However, I personally wouldn't do that just because of how they look from the side view. A good smile is one of the most important parts of your facial features, and your teeth can make or break that. Everyone knows what visually unpleasant teeth look like. They may be yellow, crooked, or decaying. We associate such teeth with bad breath and terrible self-care. There are many negative associations with this one characteristic, and you can tell that it makes people insecure, so it's a good idea to take care of them. If the yellowing of your teeth makes you look less attractive, then you can consider teeth whitening strips such as Crest. They are inexpensive. Or you can get your teeth whitened at the dentist's. Over whitening your teeth is also not a good thing as it will bring all the attention to your pearly whites and not the entire face. Orthodontic issues such as overbites and underbites can also cause the jaw to look unattractive. So you can consider going to a dentist for this too. Having a smooth and consistent skin tone is going to boost your facial attractiveness by quite a bit. Your skin is a really important facial feature. You've seen acne transformations, especially after going on Accutane. It really transforms your attractiveness. Fixing acne, especially if it's severe, will result in a significant glow up. And that's undeniable. This is because acne hides the beauty of facial features like the nose, the jaw, the eyes, and it hides the underlying bone structure by taking away your attention to the redness of the blemishes or the scars. Your skin does also signifies youth, so you need to protect it from sun damage and dryness by wearing the correct sunscreen. Drinking water, moisturizing, and other skin regimens. One pimple here and there won't make you less attractive, so don't get too hang up on it. Have you ever gone to a hair salon and hated the way your hair was done? Hair length, style, and volume can drastically alter facial attractiveness. And with the vast number of hairstyles out there, a bad hairstyle can completely alter the perceived proportionality of your face. A well-chosen hairstyle can complement your face shape by enhancing its natural features. For example, 
Hairstyles with volume on top can balance a heart-shaped face, while angular cuts can complement a round face by adding definition. It's essential to consider your face shape and features when selecting a hairstyle to maximize your facial attractiveness. Your eyebrows can make or break your facial attractiveness. If you don't believe me, just shave off your brows and see how you look. Eyebrows are very important because they correlate directly with facial expressions. Some eyebrow shapes make you look shocked while others make you look uninterested. There are a lot of factors that make your eyebrows attractive such as the shape, color, density, and position. That's why it's really important to know what shapes look best on you before grooming. You can do this by analyzing your face and using makeup to create different brow shapes until you're pleased with it. Or you can go to a brow technician who can help you out. The last thing is your eyes. A lot of people recognize this as the most important feature, simply because a lot of people are drawn to looking into others' eyes. The white region of your eyes plays a great role here. White sclera being white and healthy looking is considered more attractive than yellowish or red eyes which look sickly. Eye contact and a confident gaze can also enhance attractiveness, conveying a sense of connection and sincerity. Keep in mind that individual preferences play a crucial role in how eyes are perceived in terms of attractiveness. That is the end of the video guys. Let me hear your thoughts in the comment section. What you agree with and what you don't agree with. Thanks for watching XOXO Girl World.